What's up, daddies, and welcome back to another episode of the Bad Dad Vice Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends over at Beer Stick. Feels like it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but I just did one last week. <laughs> beer Stick, the best way to consume your beers um, smoothly, quickly, efficiently, uh, efficiently and uh, deliciously down the hatch. Oh, man. Oh, daddy likes. When I started saying, oh, man, it kind of <coughs> sounded like that oh, clip for a second. I spilled a little bit over there. Oh, jeez. Um, Should probably what? address the elephant in the room. Uh, Dude, I've been trying to lose weight. <laughs> Come on, man. He's not an elephant. He Come on, have, bro. He doesn't have tusks. <laughs> um, as you guys can Whoa. see, we are here. Uh, we are one man down. We are just a three-man band. We are no longer a quartet today, um, so we've lost our bass, our tenor. What are what are tight? What are Whoa. if we were a barbershop quartet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are all the? It's like the sopranos and the bass and the tenors and the. Uh, yeah. It's all about that bass. Whoa. For, for the, the longest time. time. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. That was pretty good. If you for like a split said <laughs> goodbye to me tonight, <laughs> woo! That, yeah, man, we, man, we could really do that. I'd love to. Dude, that'd Megan, be a lot of fun. Megan doesn't like my jingles. Go listen to the Anger Mom. She doesn't yeah, like seriously, my jingles. what's that all about? Um, if this is your first time tuning in, we are uh, usually four dads. Tonight we're only three. Um, talk about our experiences being dads. Give some uh, advice. What we like to call dad advice, um, and help out the. Uh, the newer dads in the world and maybe some of the older dads or current dads that just have something new that they want to uh, to kind of hear how we dealt with it. So um, we start every episode pretty much the same way uh, with a little segment that we like to call updates. D- dude. <laughs> so uh, anybody got any updates? Yeah, I've got an update. Oh boy, do I have an update for you. Somebody give me a mother flipping update. I know that I know you did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was he was staring right at me. I know you did that on purpose, but I'm kind of pissed because you know what's gonna happen? It's like Cardinal's gonna hear this back and he's gonna go, They need me. That's so funny, dude, because <laughs> we should have shot this episode three days ago. Yeah, yeah what happened? Should, yeah, we, we should but have. we didn't. That's Cardinal bailed. What happened? You want to recap? What happened? Hardwell bailed and yeah, I happened? was tired, so I went home. Oh, that's it? That's all that happened? So let's just lay this out for the audience. So our buddy Cardwell listened to our episode about uh, air travel, and he just traveled to somewhere, I don't know, Kalamazoo, Michigan. D-Town. Detroit? Yeah. He just went to Detroit. The flight went great. He listened to all our pointers. I don't think anybody got pooped on, so he's gone. He left uh, today, I think, I believe. I think so, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, this afternoon. So we were going to try to squeeze in one episode. That's why this is coming out late, so we missed our deadline, but it's okay. Uh, we were going to film an episode earlier this week and Cardwell quarterbacked it, said, let's meet up, let's do it. It was, I think it was Monday night. It was like a fresh week. Because that was At, the only day that worked for him. That, that was, was the, the only, only day, day that worked for everybody. Mm-hmm. For right? everybody. In- including him. Including him. Right. And then about an hour or two before he realized, oh, wait, it doesn't work for me. But like, I, you know, it's not that big a deal. Like, they've done it before. We've done it without Cardwell before, like during uh, pregnancy time and towards when he was... Uh, you know, first in the in the in the early stages of dadhood, and so he just he didn't show up. Ab shows up, and he looks beat. He's a gym teacher now, so he's outside a lot, and he's you know just getting his school started. And there's plenty of super active, super active. There's plenty of antics going on here. Uh, he looked beat. He looked tired. He looked red, and he's like, he's like, where is everybody? And I was like, I was like, Robo's you know going to put his girls down. He's going to come, and we end up finding out that Robo had a little tough night putting him down had because emily you know needed help so robo had to do double duty so it took him a little bit longer and uh, uh, robo wasn't going to get here till about you know nine o'clock or something on a school night of all nights school right night. yeah that, and that was on a bad. monday school that was night. that that was my bad on I, a, it was on I, a I monday school night like, on a monday school night yeah. it's a school night right now let's all be let's all be clear it is yes, a school night yeah. right now but it's a thursday school night and so like i think nobody works on my, fridays well i work on fridays <laughs> i just think it's a little bit That's easier true. it's a little bit easier to be like Overtired on a Friday than it is to be on a Tuesday. I I I, yeah. I agree. I don't I don't fault you at all. But we're up here. 
I have everything set up, ready to go. Abs is sitting there. I'm sitting here, and he's like, "Dude, where? Dude, seriously, where's like what's going?" First on? of all, time out. Nothing was set up. There were no cameras set up. It was all 100 percent set up. Everything is set up when we walk in here. The microphones are here all the time. So what did we set up? We didn't hook any cameras. I had, up. This, I had everything set up. We got we got 4K video. We got 4K audio. It's all set up. These mics are always here. The headphones are always hot. It's not always hot. This room's always. They were hot when we were up here. I got them hot while we were up here. Yes, while we were hanging out, I was getting everything ready, and I got it ready. I sat down. I didn't know they were hot. After everything was done, ready, we sat down, and you're like, "Dude, it's already it's already like 8:45. Like by the time we get done, it'll be 9:35. By the time we finish that, it'll be 10:45." So he is like, "I gotta I gotta dip," and I was like, "Dude, I didn't argue with you. No, you did not. I said, you know what? Your teacher is tough. It's Monday. I totally understand." Get out of here. Uh, I'll just, you know, I'll let Robo come over. We'll talk fantasy football. We'll hang out. And then, like, you just go. Uh, your wife doesn't know you just came over to talk fantasy football, does she? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, good. I was yeah. going to say, because. Uh, Maybe. I was going to say, because zoom in on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, you leave. Robo stays. But then, you send a text message. No, no. Bef- before that, I had sent a text saying, hey, sorry, guys. On my way now. Heading out. Yeah. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Yeah. Ab's response was, don't fucking worry about it. I'm going home. It's not my yeah. response. <laughs> that was not my response. I'll yes, tell you my was. exact response. I believe it was, don't bother. Okay, because that's better. Whenever it somebody starts a yeah. fucking... When, when everybody starts when everybody starts a text with, don't if bother. If you ask Janie, how are you doing? She goes, I'm fine. Yeah, she's you, probably she fine. She said she's... <laughs> If you if you said She's like probably fine then if you okay, said if you, if you said Janie <laughs> if you said Janie I'm gonna come home I'm gonna be like a little late I'll be home at like ten thirty she said don't bother I'm staying all night <laughs> sounds like I got permission to party with the boys sounds like it worked out great <laughs> so you started the text with don't bother what was the rest uh, and I was like I'm like I'm heading out I'm, I'm on my way home I think you said something like don't ever. <laughs> I didn't do. That. I think you, I think the words don't ever. I'd have to go find my phone. But it just I, said, I wish it just said, like, I wish Carlo bother. was here because I would just have my phone then and I like did, read the exact text. Seriously, yeah. It just it said don't bother. Like I'm I'm heading out. We'll put like it that. in the comments. Don't downplay it. That's exactly what it said. You said if you ever do this again. No, I did. not. It was like a paragraph. I sent another. I did send another follow up text, okay. which That's said, what I'm which about. was like because basically here here's how I felt. Here's how I felt. And it's something that we're going to talk about here in the few, in in a few minutes or in this episode about how we have reached a point where uh, we're we're becoming monetized. Yes. Okay. So so we have we have reached the requirements to hit that uh, like in in whatever ads or whatever like right. Like, so so that day on Monday mm-hmm. we that had, morning that morning yes. like we said like oh my god guys like we've grown so much and like this month has been crazy and like stuff's starting to go that like we've reached these cool targets and like it's exciting right yes and so then it's then like the pressure that's like the pressure of like success right right and so so i think what happened was like we picked monday and i had said look monday like is not going to be a good day for me i know it's not but I'm a team player. If that's the only day that works for everybody, I'll make it work. Right. Yeah. I did say that because because this is something right. It's like never in a million years did we think we were going to get to we're monetized. Right. Like like ads yeah, yeah, now and like we're, and we're making money doing so this. silly. So silly. and so like and so like, you know, we've gotten to this point now. Um, I've lost my track of thought. But I said Monday. Monday was the day. If that's the day that works for everybody, I'll do it. And so the way I took Cardwell not telling everybody was I felt that he was like we have to like we have to put like, out an he's episode like puppet, he's like puppeteering right? it's, like, it's like we have to put out an episode so that we can get these ads and I'm like the ad pays like 1.4 1. 1. 1. cents. 4 cents for for I was like download. I'll fucking Venmo you fourteen dollars, <laughs> dude. Know, yeah, I know, <laughs> like, I know, I know. I'm like, dude. Like, are you like? I'm like dying. In, in yeah, that or. moment, you're like exhausted, and it f- you felt deceived. I felt deceived for fourteen dollars. That's what, right, that's right, what I right, right. But but no matter what we said when we started this podcast, it, it was always just gonna be for fun. Yeah, it did so not feel fun. That it didn't day. feel fun in the moment, and I kind of agree. It was like because I didn't know either. It's not like I knew. Right, right, right. Like right, I right. wasn't like I wasn't like an accomplice in this. He told me, you know, maybe an hour before you showed up, and I'm like, I'm not gonna like like go text everybody like hey, no, no, nobody come over. Like I figured, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you because if Robo and you showed up, like we probably would have filmed it and whatever. But well, I, uh, I did show up. Well, I showed up before like showed up before like midnight. <laughs> and yeah, Robo got like it was like I got here at, like eight. <laughs> Robo didn't get here to like. 
Nine forty five. I was like, bro, I'm gonna. So just, die. just, a, just, just eight just a, fifty when I walked in the door. Bullshit. Just to wrap, just to wrap a bullshit. bow on it. It was after nine. Just to wrap a bow, just to wrap a bow on it. Have you since made up with Cardwell or? Yes. Okay. Yes. He texted me. We've talked. Everything's good. I got home and I was. Oh man, I was fucking look, hot. Here, go look into the camera, and get and say what you want to say to Cardwell because you know he's gonna be watching this. Cardwell, I forgive you. I love you, and uh, I love this podcast. Hey, hey, right, hey, I right. like it. I like it. I got Easy. home. I was talking to Janie and I was I was heated talking to her, too, because like I've been really stressed at work. Like, yeah, you know, I, people who think like if you think like, oh, you're a fucking PE teacher. It's so easy. It's not <laughs> easy. It it's, is. It is no new job is easy. Correct. And I and I will say this. I, like, and I've talked to everybody. It's like this year, I think, is going to be very, very hard because I'm like putting everything together. Like I'm figuring all the shit out. But I think like if I do a really good job this year and I'm like super organized, then every other year will be cakewalk easier and easier. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, I got home and I was I was hot and I I mean I was so tired. Yeah. And, no, your your text Janie, definitely perfectly relayed the message that you were a little pissed off. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Janie, uh, Janie was like, like I was so mad that Janie was like, I, I wouldn't say mad. I was just like so like heated and exhausted it's like a combination of yeah. tired and mad and stressed from work and stuff like that and uh and janie was like do you think this is like the end of the podcast? <laughs> i was like i don't think we're gonna break up like a boy band i don't think it's really gonna end like was, that that's literally what i was thinking <laughs> like it's not I was like, like is this the lead singer right, right. Like, it's not like I'm being not a gonna, diva like this is me like stepping as soon, away. like as soon as we have a little success like the lead singer becomes a diva <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not going back to that they need me you think you can make it without me <laughs> I asked, me. I asked for a bowl of just green M and M's. Damn it! <laughs> I showed up, Janie. They didn't have beer for me. They didn't have my snacks ready. Nobody. There was no masseuse there to do my mas- my morning massage. Yeah, it was that's ridiculous. incorrect. There, there was Pringles. I'm not a diva. I'm not a. I'm not a diva. Um, but yeah, that day I was a little hot. That was funny. Yeah, that's so. funny. But we. I I showed up and had no idea. Like I asked Trey, I'm like, why did Ab just leave? Like what happened? And then he told me like, oh yeah, Cardwell's not coming either. I was like. Oh, what's going well, on? Well, I think I think yeah. it just would have been like, had I known, I probably like I didn't want to I didn't want to text and say, you guys let's do it another night because then I knew Cardwell wasn't going to be able to do it, and so like I want everybody to be here and do it. Yeah. But like, had I gotten the text that said, oh guys, I'm not going to make it tonight. Tiff's got to work. I would have said, okay, well, if that's the only night that Cardwell can do and he can't do it, then let's the three of us pick another night. Yeah, and do, and do it all, like it's that. all it's it's all. I think everything's all good. And there was just some whatever. miscommunication. So yeah. So it long happens. story short, we're just mailing this episode in for <laughs> for Cardwell just because it's a job now. Yeah, and that feels like a job. Uh, no, but yeah, I don't, uh, Cardwell doesn't know we're filming the app, right? No, he has so no idea. Like, he has no that's, idea. That's, I, d- I purposefully yeah. didn't put it in the dad vice yeah. group chat. So this no, is like funny. this is like a present to Cardwell where it's like, dude, everything's oh, cool. Wow. So he'll be like super surprised when this comes out like tomorrow. Or He's yeah. Yeah. Surpri- yeah. yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> yeah, so like this is like kind of like a you know kumbaya. It's yeah. fine. It's a Thursday. Back to our normal Thursday but routine. I, I had originally just texted Trey like, hey man, uh, you watch any football or anything tonight? Like, I don't want to just like lay in bed. He goes, yeah. He goes, see if Abs wants to film an app. And maybe we can, you know, at least put an episode out Is or something. Any? So I texted you separately instead of putting it in the dad. I saw that. Chat. And I, and yeah. I asked Janie, I was like, because that was the other thing, too. Before I came over yeah. here on Monday, Janie and I had, I, I wouldn't say we got into a fight, but we got into it a little bit. And she was just like, don't bother. Not, <laughs> right. She pretty much said, if you go over to shoot the podcast night, don't even fucking bother. <laughs> no, she didn't say that. But she was a little annoyed, I guess, that. I was coming over to do this and because I was just here Saturday. two days prior yeah. for 18 fucking hours for guys yeah. day or whatever. <laughs> like, and so we'll get into that. And so <laughs> then I had, to, I had to explain to her, I'm like, look, the only reason I'm doing this night is because this is the only night that works for everybody. Yeah. And then to get here and realize this night did not work for everybody was like, yeah, that was the first the day. nail in the coffin. <laughs> yeah. Were we just like just discombobulated? Yeah, that was yeah, just yeah. a discombobulated. Day. Yeah, so, and, and so like you said, like very surprising that it hasn't happened more often. Right, with yeah. all of us being it's at true. like different stages of our yeah. kids' lives and everything, it's like yeah, su- surprisingly that situation yeah, hasn't happened. Yet. I mean, that's what our mindset coming into this was: we'll do four and be done. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like for that exact reason where it's like, how are we ever going to coordinate schedules and yeah. yeah, get you know have have enough? And now it's like I was over here drinking beer, yeah, third, third time this week. That's what I do. <laughs> 
It's like, let's know. This is like, we should start doing this more often. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I get to come over here three times a week. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we got to, you know, we'll a do a normal idea. little episode. We'll do a little update. And then uh, we'll, we're going to recap uh, Boys Day. Boys Day. Oh. That was Saturday. That was uh, wife and kid out of the house. Boys Day. So we'll recap that. But first, let's give some updates. Let's go. Uh, should I, sorry, should I play the intro again? Uh, no, <laughs> I know this whole time we're supposed to be talking about updates. <laughs> yeah. All right, Robo, let's get uh, let's get some stuff from you. So, um, as Trey mentioned, my wife had a uh, procedure. She had a dental procedure done. Um, oh yeah, she did. Yeah. So I was the the reason I was late was since it's you know a dental procedure when we're rocking the kids to sleep and like trying to get them down. I didn't want one of them to like hit her in the face. So I was putting both of them down and kind of you know trying to make sure that she's kind of away from all that um so you know dealing with with putting both girls down and things like that which it's it's not hard because pretty much our girls are on a good enough routine where you know at at night it's like bath bottle bed and they pretty much once we give them their bottle they're pretty much out for the night like we don't have to go get them again until 7 30 in the morning pretty much most of the time um other than that we have a crawler now my daughter blake this morning crawled it she's still working on her form form's not great but she is forward mobile and riley is getting up on all fours now and she still does like the rocking back and forth um but she moves mostly backwards she hasn't figured out how to like pull herself forward but riley did graduate from physical therapy i saw from that the, too. from oh. the bike race in france oh tour de Colis. yeah yeah Very so she yeah she graduated from physical therapy all she she went in Tuesday morning, either Tuesday or Wednesday morning. I don't remember which day it was, but she went in one of those days and uh, Emily took her in. They ran her through all the stretches because like, hey, she's been doing really good. Like we want to test her out again and and just make sure everything looks good. And they checked her and they were like, hey, she's good. She's cleared. Like it's no longer an issue, which is awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's great. So so a couple couple good things this week, that's great. which was kind of cool. So I saw that picture of uh, Emily's tooth procedure mm-hmm. after like they shaved all her teeth down man her teeth were jacked up but Damn. now they look great once it, yeah once they got they the fakes in now and yeah. they're putting they're putting like new fakes yeah so in? she's like, got she got temporaries in i think for six weeks i yeah. want to say Some, something like that i'm glad they put the temps in right away because yeah her mouth was jacked up i would have not liked to see that i would have i would have felt bad for her having to walk around like that but yeah it's tough. But she looks good yeah so what do you got um uh, well first of all i finished insanity let's go <laughs> I, finished, I did the yeah i did the uh the entire program um weight wise uh i think i i only ended up like down like six or seven pounds but you know from the beginning i was pretty more focused on just doing it not really like the number on the scale but how many weeks is it it was it's sixty days. nine nine weeks. Yeah, so it's a, 60, basically a pound a week. Sixty two like days or sixty three, like sixty three days total. Yeah, yeah, but like a lot of the week, a lot of the a lot of the weight was in like the last week, and I think part of it was like stressing and anxiety from being back to work and like didn't eat for like three days. Yeah, but like, like that. you sent us like that picture, like your body looks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, the like, physical changes yeah. were were very apparent. I wish we had that. Like that would be good. That would have been nice yeah. to throw up there because that's and a pretty. That's like an infomercial. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm on week two. And the uh, nice <laughs> again, <laughs> again. And the uh, yeah. So the the physical changes I saw, um, I feel it too. Like I just I feel, I feel better. Um, you know, I think part of it was like getting into PE. I'm not out there like running drills with kids and stuff like that. But um, you know, I do run around a little but, bit. But you could show them now if you needed to. Oh, but I'll tell you, you what. Really yes, show them with the boss. Yesterday was workout Wednesday. That's my new thing. We do workout Wednesdays. <laughs> nice. Uh, and one of the stations was push ups, and pff, I was ripping them <laughs> with perfect form. Oh man! But You're, but the and then the you know the another thing I like r- about Insanity is you know you do that fit test every now and then, and my results in the fit test were like from from day one to day sixty three or whatever it was. I like almost like doubled something like yeah like you know i can before that was impressive, i started yeah, yeah before impressive. i started i couldn't even do 10 push-ups you do hella frog jumps and now i can do like i could probably i mean 50 would be a stretch but i could probably do 40 push-ups so uh right now. you said you're not the diva 
lead singer, but your update is about you and you're bragging about how many push-ups you can do. I'm just talking about <laughs> no. I I want to say I, I'm really proud dude, of myself for doing I this. So many um, dude, I can do so many push-ups, dude. <laughs> No, seriously, I can do like a lot of push-ups. I'm just, I'm just saying that if you want to get stronger, <laughs> and you want to get good results and leaner, you should consider insanity. Do it. Yeah. Um, so, how is your, uh, your debt-free thing going? It's getting pretty close. I made another fat payment on the truck today too. I really, I really wanted to pay it all off today and have like a fucking double whammy of an update of like that been uh, that I finished insanity and paid off the truck. That would have been it was sick. Like, that would have been really cool. Cause it would have been like your two new year's resolutions. Yeah. Like get in better shape. Yeah. It would have been debt free. 2024. It would have been, 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 been finished. But and, yeah. I, and like, man, I'm so close and I wanted to just throw it all. But I was like so nervous of just like not having that cash and like, yeah. and like something happened or whatever. Like, um, a big but mental I'm, barrier. But I'm really it. close. We, I mean, we started at like January 1. It was at like 20K. And as of today, what's the August 22nd? It's like 2,500. So nice. Um, so that should be done in the next month or so, hopefully. Um, but about my kid, uh, the newest update now. So she, she still tells us no all the time. That's kind of like we've all agreed that kids just say no to everything but my kid is like super polite with it now so she doesn't she doesn't tell us no she tells us no ma'am so every <laughs> time so every time she tells us no she's like no ma'am no ma'am and so then i've now realized that maybe we say no ma'am to her yeah. too much that th- she thinks every time you say no you should say yeah. no ma'am yeah, well, that's uh, why Ivy goes, no, and then points to the ground because that's what I do to my dog. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So, Hey, so you, think, you want some Pringles? No. So I think I'm going to have to start point, rephrasing point, point. it. Oh, you do. I want. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to start kid. rephrasing it. Instead of, instead of saying no ma'am to her, I think I'm just going to have to start saying like no thank you or something. I don't know. But I like that she's polite. She says please all the time. She says no ma'am. That's nice. good manners. I like that. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. All right. My update has to do with... Put your hands up, because it's time to talk daycare. But it also has to do with... Ugh. I think we need to go to the hospital. There is a, there was an email. So Megan and Ivy are in Canada right oh, now. Oh shit! Keep going. There was an email. <laughs> there was an email. Oh shit! <laughs> you know it's important if there's that's, an email. That's yeah. That's teach. That's a teacher thing. You get an email from school. <laughs> you, get oh, yeah. you get an email. Shit. It's like oh. When you get an email shit. home from school, that's oh for, shit! That's for real. <laughs> He's Eddie. I got no demo. <laughs> that's for real. Uh, she told me uh, to tell you. Are you going to do the whole thing? I thought <laughs> you were going to do the whole thing. That's hilarious. All right. Um, <laughs> shout out Kevin Hart. Uh, all right. So Megan and I are in Canada, and when they and he was going to go into Todd 3 when he got back. Or like was supposed to go into Todd 3, but then went to Canada. So we're on the Todd 3 email distro now. And like one of the first couple days that uh, they were gone to get an email, lice. Oh, geez. Break out in Todd 3. Oh, my gosh. Dodge a bullet there. So we're hoping that by the time we get that, like we get in there that it's fully bullet Sterilized. dodged. But, yeah, that was something that, like, wow. when was the last time you thought about lice, head lice? Yeah, It's like dude. you don't think about it. No. And, like, I wear hats all the time and whatever, and, and I think it's bad if you wear hats. I don't know. It's pretty similar to the Roman Empire. Think about them. Just you, think about lice, it. you think about lice as much as the Roman Empire? Just about every day, yeah. I think lice to <laughs> me... <laughs> I mean, like it makes the Roman Empire make sense. I think lice <laughs> is the opposite of the Roman Empire. I think about lice as as infrequently as I think but, about. But abs is dealing with kids all day long, so like know, makes sense. Are you constantly like worried? Julius like, Caesar, Brutus, and lice. That's are you, like. Are you like? Are you like looking on your kid's head? Like you got lice. You got lice, yeah, you got lice bro. Yeah, you're not. Are you eighth grade only? Or are you? What are you? Uh, seventh and eighth graders. Yes. Oh, yeah, they're all punks anyway, so no big deal. But Most yeah, of them so are really good. So, uh, yeah, so lice outbreak, I think we avoided that. Wow. Which that's is great. Uh, hella clutch. Because that's yeah. what, I mean, that's just like, 
Cause isn't that like Sh- peanut? You got to put like peanut butter in their hair, or is that what is I that? I thought it was just like shave their head bald. Yeah, just shave just it. Start, I know. You'd have to like shave it all. Just start bald. fresh. Yeah. I don't know. So if anybody's got any pointers about how to deal with lice, like shout it out, because you know, yeah, yeah, we What's haven't figured rem- it out, but we were we were right there on the edge. What's the remedy for lice? Yeah, I've seen know. the peanut butter thing. Is it peanut butter? I, I mean, I'm know. sure they just like I don't know. It's 2024. I'm sure there's like lice shampoo. Yeah, I'm sure there's something. But yeah, you probably just have to shave their head bald. Yeah, uh, shave yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. Easy so, way. so my other update is: so they're up in Canada. They went to Besnard Lake. So they got the farm, uh, the family farm that's down in like southern uh, Saskatchewan, and then they got Besnard Lake up in the north. And then uh, her parents are in uh, Saskatoon, so it's four hours north to get to the lake and four hours south to get to the farm. And so they're doing a lot of driving. Jeez, Ivy's been a trooper. Sucks. I know it's a lot. That's like it's tough. It's really tough. And it I takes, see why and you didn't go. It's eighteen hours to get there, three flights. So it's like yeah. just a lot of travel. Yeah. And when you're a big guy like me, travel's tough. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at the lake, Ivy caught his first fish. Wow. What? Which What's one? Going on <laughs> Which What's one? going on here? Which one's going on? I don't know. I Come looking, on. I was looking. I was looking for something. Find it. <laughs> a few minutes later. Uh, yeah so he got a fish that's crazy um yeah and and like uh like the one-armed fisherman it was this big (laughs) did it have eyes or was it wait what what do you call it what do you call it (laughs) i was gonna set you up for you guys got too excited you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish there we go (laughs) Uh, Cardle, yeah, so Cardle will record that and make it. A yeah, sound he's getting that exact clip. <laughs> so we uh, and then and then the last thing is that we've been doing a lot of FaceTiming like yeah. all the time. And I realized that FaceTime now has gestures. So when you're FaceTiming, you can go thumbs up and it puts a little bubble with yeah. a thumb up or thumbs down. It puts a little bubble. It says thumbs down. So Ivy like doesn't want to talk to me. He just wants me to do all the stupid <laughs> tricks like a, like, a, <laughs> like a zoo animal. <laughs> and so you just go bubble more. <laughs> And I'm like, talk to your father. No, bubble. And it's like yelling at me. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, I. W-. But two thumbs up is like fireworks. And that's crazy. Whoa. Two thumbs down is a rainstorm. Peace sign is bubbles. What else is there? Have you seen the The ones? heart is like hearts come out of your hand. And then I think there's like maybe like a couple more like rock on and like maybe a couple more. But yeah, that like we were running through those. He's like loves them. So in the car rides, it's like he's calling me and wants to do all the things on the phone, which is which has been fun. <laughs> Isn't. Isn't there like a feature now with the FaceTimes that you can like turn yourself into like a unicorn or something? That's like been, that? yeah, that's like been a around. Or something? Uh, yeah, that's like the memoji or something. Yeah, yeah they, they've uh, they've had that for. I'm a sure while. the kids would enjoy that. I got, I'll try that one out. But yeah, the the it's like augmented reality when you just like do a gesture and then it pops up. Yeah. Zoom does it. So like sometimes it's like when you're on a Zoom call, like it's like somebody accidentally like waves their hand in front of the <laughs> camera, and like when you raise your hand on a Zoom call, it like moves your picture up to like the front. So if somebody does it on a call with like a hundred people, like they just get like bumped to the front, <laughs> and then there's a little like hand that's like in the corner, like raised, and then they're like, "Did you have a question?" And so they're like, "No, I just stretched. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention at all." That's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so he went. He caught a fish in, in Besnard, and then at the uh, at the farm, he's like wrangling chickens and like chasing chickens down and picking up the eggs and like going and you know petting the horses. Oh, this is like a real. Cows. This is like a real farm. Oh yeah, like thousands of acres. Yeah, with like cattle and stuff. Yeah, like a farm. <laughs> you know, like have you ever heard the song? Yeah, uh, uh, old McDonald had old a farm. Mc- <laughs> old McDonald, a little E I E I yo, brother. <laughs> That's dope. Do yeah, the like, animals he had like on that bo- thing. Do they have like bulls on the farm and stuff? Bulls? Yeah. What, what is he in Barcelona? <laughs> you think my son's in Barcelona right now? Literally, like walking around, like running with the bulls in Barcelona. No, I mean, like if they have cows, they might have bulls too. What's funny is uh, <laughs> my boss is in Barcelona right Isn't now. Isn't a bull just a a boy cow? Shout out my boss. He's in Barcelona. No, Josh right Blazer. Now. Shout out. Josh he's in Blazer. Barcelona. He's on. A, he's on a cruise and going. It's like Barcelona. I haven't seen and Josh Blazer in a minute since uh, your wedding. Yeah, I told him to give me a job. He never did. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Worked all worked out <laughs> for you. you. You know what? Fuck you, Josh Blazer. <laughs> All worked it all out. Worked out. You're PE teacher now. Uh, it all worked out. All right. Transitioning away from our updates, away from our our family, into the good stuff. We have I don't know another whatever amount of time till we f- decide we want to wrap this episode up. To recap for the audience, Boys Day. What a day. Boys Day. <laughs> boys what, Day. The what? one day a year where the boys just boy it up. And well, I, I got here late and. 
abs and Cardwell were already on a different level. <laughs> it <laughs> so. was quite a day. <laughs> so we, uh, so one of the things we did was play pool basketball. We were talking to Mac about his fantasy football draft strategy. Oh, I did insanity first. I did my last day. I did my last fit test of insanity here, and I thought it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be really entertaining of me doing it and everybody sitting outside watching me and stuff. But, like, Trey and Pat and Cardwell sat up here and, like, did a stupid live stream. We were doing a Twitch stream. Yeah, so there's a a Twitch stream of of Boys Day, the the beginning of Boys Day, of me absolutely murdering Pat in in Madden. Shout out Pat. Murdering. Shout out Pat Truman. And this is quite the sidebar here. But I played, uh, I was, like, feeling myself, and I was like, I'm going to play some online Madden the other night. And there's nothing that's made me more angry in the last 10 years than playing two games of online Madden. <laughs> one guy, because of the new kickoff rules, yeah, right? It's like you can't do anything. Like One guy figured out like there's like a way that you can kick the ball to where it bounces in the zone. Because mm-hmm. if it's outside the zone, it's a flag. So if it bounces in the landing zone, it bounces like right on the front of the landing zone. And your guy can't get to it. And then it just yeah. rolls back and like goes on the one yard line and stops. So it's not a touchback. So they can recover it. They can recover it. And if you get it into the end of safety. Oh, my gosh. And it was that 10 times in a row. And you got to put the safety. I couldn't, I, I couldn't get I, the ball. I watched, that, wow. uh, I watched that hack on TikTok. It's the most frustrating thing. Now, it's pretty easy to solve, like to beat once you know how to beat it. You just take your the, the return man, move him up to the front. He'll catch it. But I tried to do it during the game. And like sometimes I would run too fat, like run too too close, and then it would like glitch out and put me in the stands. <laughs> and dude, and so I like had like Christian McCaffrey like running up, and then he'd be like, and he's like in the press box, and I'm like, I was like sitting right here, losing my mind. <laughs> I know that nobody's in the house. I was screaming at the top of my lungs, and I know I didn't have the headset in. I didn't have anything. It was just me versus a computer and i'm like so angry and then you know how like people cheese it up when they're winning yeah you know they do all the like they just like they'll score a touchdown then they'll like do the uh, like they'll do the extra point but like they'll f- do a fake extra point so instead of doing a normal two-point conversion they're doing a two-point conversion from a field goal from 30 yards away <laughs> <laughs> and you're like dude stop seriously <laughs> like you know what stop that's very interesting they like I mean, obviously it doesn't make any sense to do it if you're gonna go for two do it from the two yard line not the right. 30 yeah but Nobody's expecting it. No, yeah, <laughs> that that would be reckless if like, somebody did it in real life. But so so that happened, like and then in, in the second game, it I was like, like a Dan Campbell thing. So in the second game, I was like, and and when I did actually have the ball, like I did fine, like on offense. But on 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 defense, it was like he was running. Like I don't know what it was, but I think what the other thing that was happening is Spider Two Y. That the first couple play, like the first couple games, they have to like make like figure out like the matchmaking for like the skill based matchmaking to work. And so the guys I was playing had like the I was doing the ultimate team. So they have like these players are like so much better than my guys. So like all my guys are like 80 and all his guys are like 88. And so I'm like so their players are just straight up better. But I was actually able to score and whatever. So like he just beat me because he had like a better team and like knew how to cheese it up. So like that game I'm like, all right, I'm just going to play like another game. And like there's no way I'm going to run into two dudes that are like doing this. So the uh, the guy doesn't do that on the kickoff. And I'm like. I'm like thank God, but on I get on offense and I have no idea what defense he was running, but it was like some cheat mode defense. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not make, I'm not saying this to like be like I'm so good I should have scored or whatever. It was legitimately like I, I there was nothing that would work against this defense and it, and like he was doing it all like like he like all the pre snap weird stuff like yeah. his corners were like running in then out then in then out like every time and like for whatever reason it was like he was. I don't know what he was doing. I tried to find it on YouTube after, and there were some people talking about it, but I was just like, at that point, I was like, I'm done. I don't even want to deal with it. And after I was losing like 21 or 28 to nothing, or like 21 or 28 to seven or something like that, uh, he does the kickoff thing. And then I was like, I quit. I'm done. I quit. And I was, I'm not kidding. I was mad for, I was mad for like three hours. I was like, I was like I, afterwards, I'm like, why am I mad? And then like, and then like an went, hour went later, down a rabbit hole on like, YouTube. Like an hour, no, I didn't even do YouTube. I was like so mad, I didn't even want to even, I didn't even want to figure it out. And then like an hour later, I'm like, why am I still mad? <laughs> I'm still mad. Why, I'm mad at pixels. What am I? What am I mad about? What am I? Why am I mad? And That's I couldn't funny. shake. I was, so, I was so mad. And like, cause we're competitive, but it was like, I was just, yeah, un, unreasonably mad. So Boys Day starts with a live stream of Madden, me beating Pat. I think it was sixty to nothing. 
uh, in the third quarter. So that was good. Check that out on Twitch if you want to watch the VOD. It's there for a little while. Uh, then we went down. Abs did Insanity. He's exhausted. Immediately upon finishing Insanity, eats a pub sub. Chicken tender sub. Absolutely crushes it. Yeah, that's so good. And then we go, then we play some basketball. Mm-hmm. We listen to Max Draft Strategy of use Chat GPT. Use Chat GPT. Oh God. You Which, know what's funny? I was I was on Chat GPT uh making some lesson plans the other day. <laughs> and uh and I Googled and I and I chat GPT like, hey, like, you know, who are the best fantasy football players to take? And let me hold on, let me guess, let me guess. It's all stuff from twenty twenty one. Number two on the list. Uh, number one is Christian McCaffrey. Well, this is what Chappie GPT told me. Number one was Christian McCaffrey. Number two was uh, Austin Eckler. Yeah. So Chat Austin GPT Eckler, is two. only loaded with data f- through 2021. So it doesn't have like it doesn't have this year's. It's not like Google. So Mac, who's not watching this because he's not a, he's not a fan of the pod, doesn't realize that like Chat GPT doesn't even know who the players are in this draft. So if he uses Chat GPT. It will tell him to draft Austin Eckler <laughs> second overall. Oh so I was God. trying to get him to tell me, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to, like, feed data? Because you can feed data. In- am I getting a little too nerdy for you there, Robo? Am I, n- I don't. Yeah. I don't am I losing you here? I don't understand chat GPT So, like, at all. you can, you can, AI. basically, you can. I know, it's, I know it's AI, but I just okay. don't know. So, like, like, the generic chat GPT, like, is, has a bunch of information in it. And it's, like, trained, a mo- it's a trained model through, with the data up to a certain point. So it doesn't it doesn't know anything after that because it hasn't been trained on real world data after that point. So it, so that's why so it like thinks nobody, Austin Eckler, nobody keeps up with it. Like the model of ChatGPT is not. So if you wanted to like create your own model off of that, you can load a bunch of data in. So I was trying to ask him. I was like, Are you gonna put like Are you gonna put your rankings in? Are you gonna put information in like an input and then let it tell you the strategy? Right, so you have to inform ChatGPT what like of new information, and then it can remember that and then tell you a response. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah, but if you literally just type tell it what to do and it does it. It's crazy. Yeah, but like if you're if you're inputting the data, wouldn't you just like not use it? No, you're not. No, no, no. In, so somebody like somebody else already inputted the data. No, 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 no. No, everybody pause. Sorry, audience. I need to. I need to. We need to break this down. So ChatGPT is tr- as a model. You sound like a fucking boomer right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Really. <laughs> oh my god. So, so ChatGPT is an is, is, is on. <laughs> it's it's artificial intelligence. It is yes. a model, right? So yeah. it you put you ask it a prompt and it will tell you information yeah. back. Mm-hmm. But what it's telling you back is based off of information. So imagine if a human being just po- was in a coma from 2021 until now. And then you, as soon as they woke up, you said, who should I take in my fantasy football draft? They go, oh, who's on the board? Oh, Austin Eckler's still there? Take Austin Eckler. Because they don't know that Austin Eckler's now on the commanders in the backup to Brian Robinson. TJ Hausher Mazzoli. Does that make sense now? Yeah. That's what ChatGPT can do for you. But the, the concept of a GPT, like the concept that you can... You can do your own data input, like feed it raw information, and then let it understand the raw information and spit it back. So if you said, if you told him like, if you told it like this is all the information about all these from all these fantasy football websites, and you loaded it in, and then asked it to tell you, then it could do a good job. If you said like these are the rules of my league, which ChatGPT doesn't know the rules of your league. Mm-hmm. If you said these are the rules in our league, these are the players that I like. These are the this is the big board. This is this. This is this. And you fed it in, and then asked it. The questions, then it might be a viable solution for helping you draft in fantasy football. And I was like, uh, so I asked him this, and he's like, I'm just gonna ask you who to take. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that's how JGPD works. <laughs> also, Yahoo's been doing that for 12 years. It's called it's called auto draft. Yeah, like you could just you could just right. not show up, and it would do the same thing. Uh, Yahoo would just draft your team for you, but you would wouldn't get two quarterbacks. Uh, you probably would now. It's 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 gotten better. Like the auto draft's gotten better for Yahoo, but maybe not. You never know. So, uh, so that was that was like a very early on hilarious thing, and then the voice that we did earlier was the thing we you 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 let the cat out of the bag. We we came up with a character, which we are now almost certainly going to use on this podcast <laughs> into perpetuity, which is the guy, which is this kid. This is the this is the middle school kid. No, seriously, guys, this is the middle school kid that like my stepdad literally said I should watch the Pan Olympics. He literally. <laughs> Like my stepdad's like the like the worst, but like he told me this website, it's like so cool. So that was the reason we came up with that voice is to make fun of Cardwell. I don't even remember what like I don't, I don't remember, remember what he said. I don't remember what he said. We're playing basketball and it got competitive. 
you know, not like overly competitive, like fisticuffs. I have a bruise. We man. got competitive and like, and we were like, for what something happened, and we decided like, like we're gonna make fun of Carwell for a quick minute, and we all and we came up with that voice, we came up with this character that we then carried all the way through Boys Day, yeah. and it was hilarious oh, every time. Every time we used it, it only got funnier throughout the night. Uh, so that was that, and then after the pool. Oh wait, wait. While we were still in the pool, I think the I think the quote of the day was uh, Patrick Irvin saying that he had to get home because he had because he had to go home and babysit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, gotta get, I, I gotta leave by three forty-five. I got to babysit tonight. Yeah. I said, who? I said, I said, I'm pretty sure Pat. That's just called parenting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pat, big fan of the pod. Shout out, Pat. Yeah. Uh, I got to babysit. He needed babysit to go. Tonight. He needed to go babysit. That's funny. Which is funny. Yeah, never. He, he had so much fun. He said that. Like when Allie got home, he was gonna try to come back. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they didn't make <laughs> he didn't it back. Come back. He didn't make it back. But yeah, that was yeah. He was having, he he was was having a blast. It was a fun time. Uh, yeah. So we did, you know, beer sticks. Oh, so many beer sticks. Beer bros. I actually, you know what? I actually didn't do so many beer sticks. I think I just did like a low key amount, an appropriate amount that a normal person would do. But like, yeah, so like it was actually like fifteen. No, 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 no. I probably only did like. If I did three beer sticks, like like I really didn't do that many. It's interesting. Three twenty four ounces, though, right? Uh, sixteen ounces. Yeah, sixteen ounces. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Uh, so it was a good time. Pool day was all was is always great. Uh, so we finished that up, and I think after that, I had to polish up uh, the fantasy football ranks for the leagues. So I went after like our pool. I went and like f- fixed the the tableau dashboard that shows us our fantasy. Fo- mm. I'm a nerd, so I like built a, f- a tableau dashboard visualization that anybody can see on tableau public maybe i'll put it should i link it in the description of this youtube video <laughs> that'd be fine <laughs> I'm, gonna link, I'm gonna link our fantasy football stats in the youtube video so if you're really dying to see our how good how bad abs is at fantasy before i fix this the reason i went to go fix it is because we were all saying like what is our rank of the league and everybody gave abs like you're you know sixth best fifth best and he was getting like angry that he wasn't higher <laughs> And so I was like, I gotta fix this thing because I, I don't, don't think I was getting angry. I said I was top six. I think I put myself fifth. Top six. And then what does Tableau think you are? What does the statistical uh, ranking think algorithm think nine? that you are? Nine? Was it nine or uh, ten? Uh, Might have been ten. It's ten or eleven. No, 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 no. I was ahead of Brooks and Westwood. I think. No, I don't, I don't think so. We'll put it in. We'll, we'll put it in the chat. Go check it out. Go yeah, look yeah. it on YouTube and look at how James Abitinozzi is at the very, very tippy bottom. I think I was ten, maybe nine. This now yeah. he's stretching it to nine. No, you were definitely not nine, brother. I don't remember. Definitely not nine. Brooksy, 12. Solid 12. He was 12. So I fixed that. Middle of boys' day it was tough. Uh, you know, my brain wasn't firing all cylinders, but I got it done. Uh, and then after that, came up here, and we played a game that I can't remember the name of. I, ha- I we, knew- played, we played Monopoly card game. First was Monopoly card oh, game. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of bummed I didn't play that. But then we also played, it was like werewolves at midnight or something i don't know something with like werewolves in the yeah. nighttime or something it was something but i it was i really liked it it was a, it was very similar to secret hitler which is a which is a Classic. board game. fan fan favorite board that's, game that is a board that's a board game, <laughs> that's a, it is a board game. <laughs> secret hitler is a fan favorite of this crew um and and this game was very similar where you had you know everybody had their card and that was your secret character and you were Good guy, bad guy, but um, that's a terrible job. Yeah, of explaining this to the listener. But whatever. But the point was, the good you wanted to kill look, the bad guys. If, if, if you can't me, understand it, look up the name that Abs can't remember. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> let me just let's just try to take a quick second pause here. So, a game like Cops and Robbers or Secret Hitler is essentially like there are mafia, a few, a f- a mafia, a few people that are bad. And then a bunch of people that are good, and the good people are trying to f- sniff out the bad people. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the the generic uh, uh, you know way that these games are played. The twist that this game has is that there are special abilities, mm-hmm. and those special abilities essentially mean that you switch your role mid game, and you have no idea what's actually in front of you. And so there's a ton more strategy involved yeah. and led to one hilarious moment where TJ, good old Timbo, thought that he tricked everybody and was so confident that he had tricked everybody that I was like, so we won? 
we won we did it all all of us we won and he was like yeah 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 and then i was like <laughs> and then we, he flipped over his card and realized that he didn't win and he was dumbfounded. And then I flipped over my card to reveal that I had won. And then Abs absolutely lost his mind, was rolling on the floor laughing <laughs> because TJ could not figure out how I had tricked him into into losing that round. It was uh it was an all time great roll around on the floor yeah, laughing moment. That was fun. That was really funny. Uh and then after that, I think we get a little poker. Robo came oh, over. Right. Polly came played over. Poker. I won fifty bucks. Played some poker. Yeah. I was a big winner on the night. Cardo was, was a big loser. I think I miraculously I won, broke I think, even. I think I won like fifty eight dollars. I think I lost yeah. like I think I lost like twenty bucks. Don't tell Janie. Was there any 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 hands that like people freaked out on? Like yeah, I ram- folded pocket aces, rainbow red flop. Did you fold you fold it to me? Mm-hmm. And then I bluffed you. Yeah, well, yeah, freaking. You had yeah. a, you had a pair, but yeah, you did. Bluff it was a bl- me. I bluffed yeah. you out of I aces. Had, I yeah. didn't get shit because you went all in. That, that was uh, it. Kind of sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, epic. Yeah, and then after that was about yeah we've. Went till about one a.m. and then went to bed. You, you crashed. Cardwell yeah. crashed. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get the fan turned on in the in the guest house. It was like I would like turn. Wait, on were you in the guest house? I thought Cardwell I was. Guest house. They were both. Oh, in there. he left a little ca- Picasso painting on the toilet. So I was like, I thought that was Cardwell. <laughs> Who did? I did. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't remember doing that. Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Sorry. Um, it's okay. I had somebody clean it today. Sorry, cleaning lady. She came over there. She's like, uh, d- she's like, did you use the bathroom? I was like, no, I had guests. I'm sorry. She's like, it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. She said it's disgusting. She like, demand more money for over that. Clean that. Overreacting. Um, no, I, I went in there before. I went in there like before she showed up just to like see if anybody like left anything or you know whatever. And I saw the toilet and I was like, oh, dude, guys, there's a brush right next. There's a brush. <laughs> I was going to text Cardwell thinking it was, I was like, I was 100% sure it was Cardwell. No, it was me. Wow. That Terrible. is a very Cardwell-esque move. Terrible. Um, yeah, so that's boys day. So yeah. nothing, no no crazy drama, no nothing. Nobody did anything that's no. like unforgivable. It was nothing, uh, I think it was a fun night. There was, I, you know, there's nothing I look back and go, that's a lifetime memory. Like We, should, was like, we should do it more often though. Yeah, once a week on Thursdays. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah <laughs> in front sure. of a camera. I think we. Uh, uh, I think we get another boys cruise. Get the guys. Get the guys out on a I've boat. I've been on a cruise yet. I want to do a Dude, cruise. Dude, I'm. I'm like. I think once I get debt free, I think I'm gonna book one. Go back into debt. No, <laughs> I won't go back into debt. I was just gonna. I was just saying. But that'll you, be you, my. You finished I, insanity, so like you have like three or four months left in the year to like either really lose a bunch of weight, do insanity again, like get all your debt paid off, or completely ruin all your goals and like gain a bunch of weight and like spend a bunch of money like the last no, four I, months are tough like if this is your new year's resolution yeah. for all of the year yeah i don't think I, I won't i won't fuck up the money thing um we do want to get janie a new car but i think i i think i can push it off till the new year yep. to do that um but you know it's, it's so funny you know you know they talk about like uh you want to start a habit or you want to break a habit like you got to do it for 21 days mm-hmm. well like i did insanity and i I did miss a couple of days towards the end, like getting back to work and, and stuff like that. But for the most part, I followed the schedule to a T for 60 days. And I was done. Like, you know, you would think it's like, oh, now working out is just like part of my lifestyle. Like I've 60 days. It's a habit now. Man, I finished. I haven't worked out once since I finished. <laughs> <laughs> Still eating pub subs, though. Um, I got the supersized bag of gummy clusters at Costco the other day. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's great. But I, am, I, I will say I am, I'm obviously a lot more active at work. Um, yeah. So I think that will help. Um, but you can't, you can't outwork a bad diet. Yep. So uh, I think we kind of mailed it in this episode, but yeah. you know, we did it. We we met our quota. This one's for Cardwell. Yep. Beep boop. When. Um, when do we drop? We're gonna just drop this ASAP. Soon as it uploads. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I don't know. Tomorrow, soon. Yeah. You'll what you guys will hear this as soon as you hear it. You'll be hearing it. So. So we got because we got to do another one for like. Oh, you know what? My fantasy. girls, my girls turn ten months old tomorrow. Oh, happy hey. happy birthday! Yeah. On that uh, note.